Welcome to A Fistful of Lenses, the home of real-world lens reviews. In this episode, we'll be taking a closer look at the SMC Pentax 28mm f2.8 lens. We'll be focusing on the first silver-nosed M version and using the lens to shoot video and stills. For the technically minded of you out there, the optical construction is seven elements in seven groups. It has five aperture blades and accepts 49 mm filters. It has a close focus of 30 centimeters and weighs just 168 grams. The lens had a production run starting in 1977. So what was the world like in 1977? Well, let's take that trip together down memory lane. In 1977, there were long queues outside cinemas to watch Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And in the UK, people were celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. Remember those parties? 1977 was also the year when the local villagers demanded we do something about our relative, who kept beating up the local rugby team. A tense family meeting ensued, and who could blame us for feeling nervous? With those huge muscular shoulders, a 22 inch neck, and an unnaturally hairy back, my grandmother was not someone you wanted to risk upsetting. So that was the world scene when this lens was new to buy in the shops. But what about today? How will it fare almost 50 years later? In this review, as always, the stills and the video will be unedited, straight out of camera, so as not to disguise the character, strengths, and any weaknesses of this old classic. This episode will be shot on the Sony A7R Mark III. So as we view images taken with the lens, let's just set the scene and learn a little more about Pentax. In 1971, Pentax introduced Super Multi Coatings, or SMC. At the time, it was a bit of a revelation. It was even proclaimed confidently that now lens hoods were obsolete. But I can tell you that's a bit of hyperbole. Not that Super Multi Coatings is bad, it's not. It's very good. It controls flare well and keeps contrast high. But as the next bit of footage shows, it will flare when shooting into the light. As you can see here, although I was deliberately shooting in such a way to exaggerate the problem. Normally, and especially if you use a lens hood, flare would not be a problem and would be fairly easy to avoid. What other observations can we make about the lens? Well, centre sharpness is good at all apertures, hitting its peak at f8, with diffraction just starting to set in at f11. Chromatic aberration is well controlled in the centre, but shows a little colour fringing in the corners. Apparently, barrel distortion is reported to be less than 1% with this lens, and something you'd be hard pressed to notice. It's slightly soft in the corners when shot wide open at f2.8, and the lens does vignette, which rarely matters in real world situations, and is more something that you would notice in photographs of test charts. Build quality, like all the other Pentax lenses I've had from this period, is excellent. The lens feels solid and precise, and the focus is nicely damped. And again, Pentax colours are very pleasing to the eye.
So how would I summarize the Pentax SMC 28mm f2.8 lens? Well, it's a compact little lens. Not quite a pancake lens, but not far off. I would describe its build quality as refined, with little excess baggage, but at the same time, no corners cut. In short, they got the balance just right. Pentax lenses from this era were up there with the very best in this regard. And at almost half a century in age, this is a lens that has withstood the test of time with flying colours. It still has a silky smooth focusing, but mechanically it's perfect. The colour palette of the lens is beautiful just like the other Pentax lenses I've tried. I particularly like the way it reproduced blues. But of course, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and everyone sees colour in a slightly unique way. What about the optical qualities? Well, no lens is perfect, and neither is this one. It does vignette. It's a little soft in the corners and exhibits some colour fringing, again in the corners. But imperfection that would show up on a test chart photograph or wild pixel paper often has little bearing in real world photography. And it's the overall look and feel to the images, rather than the minuscule details, that really matter. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and ring that bell. And then who knows, maybe we'll see each other out there in the real world, snapping away happily with a fist full of lenses. Until next time, bye for now.